Top 10 Most Beautiful Cities in Europe Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a video for you about the top 10 beautiful cities in Europe. Europe is renowned for its rich heritage, magnificent architecture, and breathtaking natural beauty. Before we start, go ahead and subscribe, and also press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Without further ado, let us start with the top 10 list. At number 10, we have Paris. Paris is not only one of Europe's most stunning cities, but also one of the world's most breathtaking dream destinations. You could easily spend three weeks there without getting bored, but four days in Paris is a good place to start. If you want to see the best of the region, if you're visiting Paris for the first time, you must include a visit to the Eiffel Tower. There are no words to describe how amazing the Iron Lady is in person. Also, a visit to the Mona Lisa is a must-have on your to-do list. There are many other locations worth visiting, like shopping on the Champs-Élysées, eating endless macarons and croissants, visiting the Sacre-Cœur, walking through the cute streets of Montmartre, and seeing a performance at the popular Moulin Rouge are among the best things to do in Paris. Everybody will find their favorite form of activity in the city of love. Next on the list at number 9, we have Barcelona, Spain. Barcelona is one of Europe's most popular tourist destinations, nestled between beautiful mountains and the beckoning coastline. The popular La Sagrada Familia and the many colorful and breathtaking works of Antony Gaudi throughout the city makes Barcelona the capital of Catalonia. There are so many things to love about Barcelona, from the stunning architecture to the delectable local cuisine. Barcelona is a very popular tourist destination, so it is typically very busy during the summer. If you have to avoid the crowds, try to visit Barcelona during the off-season. And since the city enjoys moderate winter weather, it is also one of the best winter sun destinations. Next on the list at number 8, we have Ia, Santorini. Santorini, also known as Tia, is a Greek island that is part of the Cycladic island group in the Aegean Sea, about halfway between Athens and Crete. Santorini is without a doubt one of Greece's most stunning islands with whitewashed cliffs and endless views on the shimmering sea. The city of Ia, located in the northwest corner of the island, is the most popular spot in Santorini, due to the perfect views. If you're visiting Santorini for the first time, you can stay at least one night in Ia to see one of the highland's beautiful sunsets. There is no lack of things to do here, which is home to many incredible hotels, blue dome churches, and excellent local restaurants. Next on the list at number 7, we have Rome, Italy. A travel to Europe is not complete without a stop to Rome. Italy's capital is full of ancient ruins, historical sites, and incredible landmarks, and it is unquestionably one of Italy's most beautiful areas, making it a must-see destination on any traveler's list. Although you can visit Rome any time of the year, it's better to go during the shoulder season, when the weather is still pleasant but the crowds are smaller. Rome is one of Europe's most fascinating and historically significant cities, and you could easily spend more weeks discovering everything that it has to offer. Even if you have a weekend in Rome, you must visit the Vatican City and admire St. Peter's Basilica. Next up on the list at number 6, we have Budapest, Hungary. Budapest is without a doubt one of Europe's most beautiful cities. Budapest should be at the top of your list. If you want to see beautiful architecture, fairy tale castles, world-famous thermal bars, cool ruined bars, and delectable cuisine all at an affordable price. Spending a weekend in Budapest will allow you to see some of Hungary's most popular landmarks, including the Hungarian Parliament, Buda Castle, and the Fisherman's Bastion, which is unquestionably one of the city's most Instagrammable locations. An unforgettable experience would be a walk along the Danube River with its magnificent buildings growing up on both sides. Next up on the list at number 5, we have Prague, Czech Republic. Due to its laid-back feel, lively nightlife, and affordable prices, Prague has recently become a renowned hotspot. There are plenty of things to do in the capital. The historic center of Prague is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and strolling through the old towns is a truly unique experience. One of the most romantic things to do in Prague is a walk over the charming Charles Bridge. And if you're traveling with your significant other, you can also place a lock onto the Love Lock Bridge. Next on the list at number 4, we have Amsterdam, Netherlands. Amsterdam is known as the Venice of North. It has a truly unique vibe and it's undoubtedly one of Europe's most beautiful cities. The city is best known for its red light district and world-famous coffee shops, which translates to wheat stores in Dutch. 
but it has far more to offer. The Rijk Museum and Van Gogh Museum are two excellent museums in Amsterdam, and the Anne Frank House is a must-see for those interested in it. It is best to go in spring to see the tulip fields in full blossom and to take advantage of the mild weather. Two days in Amsterdam is enough to see all the major attractions, but if you have more time, rent a bike and go on a day trip to nearby zones. Next up at number 3, we have Dubrovnik, Croatia. Dubrovnik is located on the Adriatic Sea shores, and it's a city not to be missed. This charming region known as the Pearl of the Adriatic has recently become very popular among tourists. And that's the key film and locations for Game of Thrones King's Landing. If you want to visit Europe and you're a fan of Game of Thrones, this is a perfect place to visit. And since Dubrovnik is a small city, three days will suffice to see all the highlights. But if you have more time, you can easily spend up to a week there. Even if you only have one day in Dubrovnik, you must visit the city walls. The view from up there is beautiful. Next on the list at number 2, we have London, United Kingdom. London is one of Europe's most iconic and well-known cities, drawing millions of visitors each year. London is a city that should be on everyone's Europe bucket list, because it is the home of the royal family and many historical landmarks. When visiting London, seeing Big Ben and Houses of Parliament is a must. London offers a diverse range of activities. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you should certainly take a Warner Brothers Studio tour. And finally on number 1, we have Venice, Italy. Venice is not only one of Europe's most beautiful cities, but it's also one of the world's most beautiful cities. With its exclusive locations, it is no wonder that the city is very popular with international tourists. It is best to visit during the shoulder or off season. The Silica in St. Mark's Square is so famous that it served as the basis for the Venetian Resort in Las Vegas, and the Venetian Macau, the world's largest casino. Venice is a small city, so it is completely walkable, but the canals and narrow streets make it easy to get lost. Two days in Venice is the ideal amount of time to see the best sights and sample some of the best Italian cuisine. That is all for today guys. Tell us in the comments below which one of these cities is your favorite. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. There are plenty of videos to come. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.